In this video, I am going to do something a little different and uh, provide you with a method, something that I thought of um, for building a stairway out of a large log. Now, there are, I'm sure, plenty of other methods, and some of them might even be easier, but this is one that I thought of. And, of course, the first thing you're going to need to do will be to cut some stair stringers. And um, these will need to be a little different than you would for a conventional stairway because you're not going to be allowing for the tread difference on it and you wouldn't be allowing for any ledger up here or any connection for the log. The log's going to be flat. These are basically going to be used as guides or templates. Now the first thing I want to do is just kind of put the log in place. This isn't what you're going to be doing, but I just wanted to give you an idea of what the stair stringers are going to be used for as a template or how they're going to be used as a template. Another thing I would like to point out is the position of the stringers according to the log is going to be critical. You will need to locate it to where you can get the maximum width for your steps and that's probably going to be located more in the center of the tree. Now I removed a section of the tree just to give you an idea. You know, here you can see where the width, if we were to use this right here, the maximum width is probably going to be over here, not up here. But I cut this to give you an idea where I had positioned the tree according to the stringer. So this is probably going to be the point where the center of the tree is going to need to be located more than the point here. But again, you're going to have to do some experimenting on that yourself. Now this ought to give you an idea of why I explained everything previous to it to give you an idea where the stringer was going to be located so that you could use it as a template. And you're just simply going to build a frame and of course that frame is going to need to be connected to the log securely so that it does not move. And, uh, of course, screws, uh, building hardware, whatever you need. And, of course, you can always set the log on top of some 4x4s, for example. Have the 4x4s extend past and then connect everything to that also. So just to give you an idea here. And uh, make sure that it is square. You do not want the stringers to be off a little bit. And in order to square everything up, you might need to use... Um, the three, four, five rule and where you're going to measure three inches, four inches, and then five inches to make sure it's square. Or you can set everything out on the ground, lay everything out on the floor and securely fasten all of the um, supporting blocks that are going to go under the log and then set the log on top of it. Brace the log off and then you would have a nice uh, starting point. But Figuring out how to get this thing square is going to be critical. If it's not square, then your stairway is going to be off just a little bit, or I should say it's off as much as it isn't going to be um, square. The next step will be to install some type of guides for the chainsaw. And of course, they might need to extend past depending upon where you're going to be cutting, but make sure that they are going to be long enough for the chainsaw so that you can um, cut that particular depth or that section of the log accurately. Here's what I'm talking about, how this extends a little past. And of course, I'm not going to draw a chainsaw in here. I'm just going to use the blade to give you an idea of how the guide works. You're just simply going to set the chainsaw on the guide and then plunge it into the wood. And it should end up looking something like this when you're done. The next step will be to relocate your guide so that you can cut the bottom and uh, maybe one of the risers coming up, the second riser. And of course, do it on the other side. Make sure everything lines up. Now, something else I'd like to point out is that if you do put the 2x4s on the outside, you're going to have to move them. You might want to put them on the inside and then attach the stringer to it that way. Um, that way you got a nice clear path across here. And for those of you wondering why I wouldn't have done that, well, this is usually how I design stuff. And then I go, oh, God, I got to move this stuff. Well, now you know. I just saved you the frustration. So make sure the stringer's on the outside 
if you can't attach the um, template boards or your guide boards on the inside. Sometimes the log's going to be large enough you'll be able to attach it on either side and that won't be a problem. You won't have to move these. So again there it is our guide for the chainsaw. We simply put the chainsaws. Uh, there the blades are in position. Give you an idea and you're just going to use these as a guide. And hopefully it looks something like this when you are done with it. Another important point will be to make sure that you don't overcut the bottom of the risers or the backs of the treads in these areas. Otherwise your stairway might not look good. The next step would be to install some more guide boards so that you can get the old chainsaw out and start notching away. And hopefully again you end up with something like this here, a nice flat cut. Everything looks nice on these computer animated drawings. Now I'm not going to take and do each one of the treads and risers step by step. Uh, hopefully you have an idea what you're trying to do. And after everything is done you should end up with a stairway that looks something like this depending upon the size of your log and the length of your stairs. After that you can figure out just how in the heck you're going to lift this thing into place and attach it to the building, the floor, the walls. I do have to make one suggestion here. If this is going to be a heavy stairway, which I would imagine it would if it's going to be about three foot wide to meet local building codes, you're probably going to need to have a strong structural footing underneath here. Something big. You're probably going to need some um, some type of bolts to attach this to. Might use some brackets, um, but that's going to have to be installed in the footing, I would imagine. And same thing up here. You're going to need something heavy duty. If you're going to just build something like this, um, without an engineer, um, just consider this is going to be heavy. You might actually need to install some supports in the center underneath here. You might need to provide some additional structural reinforcements to prevent the weight of this from simply pushing the building over also. So with that said, um, I'm sure there are other methods that can be used to do something like this, but maybe, just maybe, this video will get you going in the right direction if you are planning on building a stairway like this.